How's it going everyone? It's Sam. You have to be into crypto right now if you don't want to be left behind. And I want to explain why that is, but also what you should do going forward. Does this mean you should throw all your money at it? Should you buy right now? What is going to happen next? And some of the big news that's in the market for some altcoins. Actually, some good news for Cardano and a couple other cryptos as well. If you guys don't mind hitting the like button and subscribe button, I really appreciate that. It helps out the channel a lot. Also, if you haven't already looked into the Patreon, if you want to try it out, there is a link to it underneath the video. If you sign up annually, you get a discord, you get a discount. One of the top, actually the top stock that I have right now is Tesla. They're popping today after the potential of a stock split. Also, my largest asset. Uh, largest investable asset is Bitcoin. So if you want to know when I buy and sell, you can check out the links underneath. I'll be honest, I'm pretty much dollar cost averaging, but I give daily updates on what's happening in my thinking. So if you guys want that, check it out underneath the video. So cryptocurrency is up a decent amount. I should say too, there are timestamps in case you want to skip around, but I would highly suggest staying through to the end. Uh, but crypto is looking good. The whole market's up 6.6% at $2.23 trillion dollars. You can tell the FOMO is coming. I mean, I feel it. I think, oh, I should have maybe not dollar cost average. I should have just thrown everything at crypto. Not literally, but a significant amount. But that is what you're going to feel if you have some money on the sidelines. That's just a fact. Uh, right now, Bitcoin's up 6.4%. Ethereum's up 7 A lot of altcoins up 10 11 12%. It's a great day to be in crypto. Let's just be honest. Uh, if you have money in crypto, that's great. So I think that the people that don't already have money in crypto will start to feel FOMO here soon. When we look at Bitcoin's chart here, we're pushing up against 47.6. So we're, we jumped up over 46, 45.5 was the resistance we kept on hitting, fell back down, touched down near about 46,000, bounced up. Now we haven't gone below about 46.3 since we came up. Now, we're looking bullish again. It's looking really good for the crypto market. Why is this happening? Well, we know that Terra continues to buy Bitcoin. This is why I flipped ultra bullish. I was already bullish long term, but now I'm bullish short term too. Uh, they're buying another bit of Bitcoin here, about $133 million worth, just pushing up the market, constant buy pressure. And you can see the last couple market cycles. This is us here in red. It's looking like we might actually have another decent market cycle, assuming that we continue to get these buys. Now Terra owns about $1.3 billion worth of Bitcoin, and they're planning on buying $10 billion. So we went up about $10,000 from about $1.3 billion worth. Now, of course, other people are buying as well, but we were stuck at about thirty-seven to 40000 now at 47000 just a few weeks later. That can show you how quickly crypto can change. Now, at the same time this is happening, we're getting good news about regulation here in the U.S. We want to continue to innovate here in the U.S. We don't want to restrict uh, the cryptocurrency innovation, stuff like that. We also have countries that are looking at adopting Bitcoin. We also have countries that are allowing Bitcoin donations and legalizing Bitcoin. And it just seems like everything is on the up and up. Everything is positive. And before we had a lot of positive news, we just didn't have a lot of big buys. That is what is going to ultimately drive the market, not just someone allowing you to send Bitcoin as payment for taxes or something like that, but significant amount of buys uh, and public buys will make this really, really bullish and make the, the overall market look really, really good. Now, does this mean that we should go out and just put everything into the market? Well, you can see that some people are feeling greedy. The Bitcoin fear and greed index was fear just last week. Now it's at greed. So we are probably a little bit overbought, honestly. But overall, I think long term, we can see that there's still going to be significant buys coming, I guess short term. And then long term, we know that this is going to be a great asset to hold on to. It's going to be a reserve asset, most likely for a lot of different entities, countries possibly, and Long term, I don't think you're going to be regretting buying Bitcoin. Now, I found something interesting. I, I kind of started thinking about this. And Terra obviously is buying $10 billion worth of Bitcoin. If you look at Terra's price recently, since they came out with this news, Terra's price has done really well. Like we've almost doubled over the last month or so, month and a half. And 
I've got to think a good amount of that is because of UST and because of the backing of Bitcoin. Now, this got me thinking there might be a cheat code here and we might see more companies do this. In crypto, we know that when one company or one project does something well, others tend to follow suit. I mean, even if you don't like SafeMoon, for example, there's so many projects that are copying SafeMoon with the kinds of fees when you buy and sell and then rewarding shareholders or uh, token holders, stuff like that. Uh, we see that with burn mechanisms too. We see a lot of companies, or I keep on saying companies, a lot of projects start to adopt these burning mechanisms when it works well for one project, one crypto. And I think we might see that here with Bitcoin. Imagine this, this is the never ending pump cycle cheat code. Altcoins buy Bitcoin like Luna, Bitcoin pumps. Then because Bitcoin pumps, alts pump, which means that these alts have more money to go buy Bitcoin. And now it's not a perfect cycle, right? Maybe they don't get enough money to continue to get this thing going. But what if another cryptocurrency starts doing this for their stablecoin or just to back their own token? Let's say, you know, Cardano starts buying some Bitcoin. I don't think they would, but some other project starts doing this. Well, what if we have five projects that are gonna buy a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin over the next year? Well, that's another $5 billion worth. When we see all these positive things happening, we can see uh, some projects won't even need to buy the Bitcoin uh, right away. Like, like Luna said that they're gonna buy Bitcoin, Bitcoin will pump uh, and then alts pump and they haven't necessarily even bought Bitcoin yet. So they might have to buy at a higher price, but it's a great way to raise some funds uh, or raise the price of your own cryptocurrency by making this publicly available information. And if enough cryptos do this, imagine we start having 15, 20, $30 billion worth of buys that we know will happen this year. Then everyone wants to front run them. And then we have the price pump before we even see the buys and then the buys add on top of that. And then everyone's backing their cryptocurrencies with Bitcoin. There's more safety in the market. There's more money in the market. It's just a crazy pump cycle that could be happening in front of us. And I think Luna is doing a good job of showing that that is successful. Right now, this is a very successful way of getting excitement into your cryptocurrency. Now, before we go any further, I want to talk to you about Coins Paid. So this is a Bitcoin payment processing gateway in business crypto wallet. They've done over six billion dollars worth of transactions in 2021. They had over nine million transactions and have worked with about 800 online businesses. Now, they've been in business for a while, but recently they came out with their CPD token. And this allows them to give utility and a loyalty discount to these holders of CPD. So you can get discounts. This is why a lot of people think that there won't be as much of a sell-off when there is the eventual bear market in crypto because of the fact that a lot of these different businesses wanna hold on to some of these CPD tokens to get these discounts. And as more and more merchants come into Coins Paid, they will have to buy tokens as well, increasing the amount of tokens that are held by these long-term holders. Now keep in mind, a lot of these businesses that they're working with probably don't have a lot of experience in crypto, let alone DeFi. So there's a huge opportunity instead of just letting the crypto sit idly in their account balances to use it to gain rewards in DeFi. There's a ton of potential there. Now they've run a couple of really successful farming ventures on MDEX and Unicrypt, and they are coming to Latin America in 2022. They already have a business set up in El Salvador. Now, this is a partner of the channel. In case you guys want to buy the token, you can check it out on Uniswap V2 or V3, PancakeSwap V2, SushiSwap on Polygon, MDEX, and PlasmaSwap. So you can check this out. I will leave a link to the community underneath the video in case you want to join it. I would highly suggest paying attention, but of course, there's always risk with these types of investments. Always make sure you do your due diligence. Now, let's look at some of the other news that's happening today and some of the other entities that are buying Bitcoin or just bring news in crypto today. So Russia government officials called to legalize mining as soon as possible. They proposed eliminating the legal vacuum around crypto mining in the country and introducing clear regulations. The statement continues the recent streak of support for the crypto industry among the country's officials. A lot of this is because of their dependence on other nations and I think they will be turning to crypto. I think it's pretty obvious that they want Bitcoin for part of their reserves and they wanna legalize crypto mining, they want to legalize crypto holding, 
Of course, you can only buy so much in a year if you're there and you have to pass certain tests to make sure that you actually know what you're buying. But this is overall good for the crypto industry. You know, uh, this means that there will be more hash rate, assuming that they legalize mining, more people will get online in this highly profitable industry, make Bitcoin more and more decentralized and continue to increase that hash rate. So I think overall, more crypto adoption, always good. <laughs> and this will force the US government to possibly get some miners as well, or to increase their miners just to make sure that they can compete with other nations. We also have other people that are going to be buying Bitcoin re, uh, very soon if they haven't started already. Bitcoin is coming to hundreds of U.S. banks this year. I talk about this a lot because I think it is so important. As soon as you see it at your local bank that you can buy Bitcoin right alongside uh, the cash that you have in your account, that's going to be a huge moment. And there are hundreds of banks that will get that this year. And then we have waited a while and we haven't heard anything, but MicroStrategy has been buying so much Bitcoin over the last year. They aren't buying right now, but they will continue to buy. They said that they're gonna be long-term buyers. And right now they're sitting at about 125,000 Bitcoin. They will continue to buy. They just haven't bought recently. We also have KPMG, which bought Bitcoin, Ethereum, and an NFT recently so that they can show other people or other companies how to do it as well and keep it on their balance sheet. I think this will really take effect next year because they did this this year uh, at the end well, at the beginning of this year, so companies will see that and wonder how to do that going forward over the coming years, especially if we get some kind of pump, how do we add it to our balance sheet? They'll come to KPMG and then maybe throughout the year, they'll start allocating more towards it. We also have some news that Deloitte is also helping uh, a retailer, Al Corte in class, launch a crypto exchange. So this is one other top four accounting firm that's going to roll out services for cryptocurrencies. So, so many companies, so many, so many people are going to get into crypto this year. It's just insane. We're never going to see uh, this kind of adopt, or we've never seen this kind of adoption. Last year, we saw a lot of people start downloading apps, but still, that is more difficult to do than just going to your local bank. And everyone wants a piece because it is highly profitable to be someone that gives cryptocurrency services right now. That's why everyone's getting in. Everyone wants a piece of the action. Companies like Coinbase are extremely, extremely profitable right now. So let's get on to some other altcoin news. Now, we do have some good news for a couple specific altcoins. Actually, VeChain has done really well recently. On the last 24 hours, it's up 13%. On the one week, it's up 53%, much more than most uh, cryptocurrencies. And that's because really the only thing I can find is Draper University partners with VeChain to train Web3 founders. A uh, training center for entrepreneurs founded by billionaire venture capitalist and early crypto adopter Tim Draper has partnered with blockchain developer VeChain to launch new programs for those interested in starting and scaling Web3 businesses. The four-week VeChain Fellowship Certificate program includes entrepreneurship and blockchain fundamentals to help attendees launch their Web3 startup powered by VeChain. So some news, not a ton of news, but I mean, VeChain had been beaten down pretty hard. Also, we did get some interesting news on ADA. ADA actually is getting a little bit of a pump today as well because Grayscale changed the core components of their smart contract platform portfolio. We knew that Cardano was gonna be one of the top holdings. It was about equal with Solana. Now they added about three or 4% allocation, even more on top of their 24% allocation that they already had to Cardano. I don't remember what it got taken out of. Uh, it looks like maybe it was taken from a few different projects and they took a small percentage out. But you can see that Cardano is the majority now of this fund. Now, a lot of people still give me hate on that. Like I get comments on my old video about selling Cardano. Remember, I put it into other cryptocurrencies like Solana. Solana has done nearly as well. I maybe missed out on five or 10% uh, by selling Cardano, but I'm in this for long term and I wanna hold the projects that I wanna hold. Now I do still hold some Cardano, so just disclaimer, but I did shed some of that position. So it's not as bad as it looks. And then we do have the CoinShares report coming out here soon. It's coming later today. I'll cover that in a video later today. Overall in the crypto markets, it's looking like a good day. I think that if you've been in crypto, congrats because we're looking really bullish. Just try not to get too greedy. If you had money that you were using to dollar cost average into the market, maybe continue to do that. We know that there are gonna be some more big buys in crypto. so. Maybe you wanna play that game a little bit too. Just know over the long term, this is gonna be a great asset. Over the short term, anything can happen. Just be careful, 
keep investing wisely. If you are feeling FOMO, just know, hey, you did the best you could with the information you had. We had a war that was weighing down on crypto in the overall stock market just a few weeks ago. We were all worried about it. So let's not forget that you know we do our best with the information we have and you just have to be happy with what you are getting in the market because it is a great week to be investing in crypto, great day. Just know there might be more opportunities to buy in the future. Now, if you're interested in what I buy, you can check out the Patreon and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.